Six years ago, I picked up my first Rubik's Cube, and since then till now, I've spent an irresponsible amount of hours practicing and trying to get better. But because of where I live, I've never for once been to an official Rubik's Cube competition. But then, Lagos Open was announced. So I traveled all the way across the country to participate in my first ever Rubik's Cube tournament, competing with some of the finest speed cubers my motherland has to offer. And my goal? I actually have two goals. A, break the Pyramid's national record. And since the original 3x3 Rubik's Cube is the main event, whoever wins this event automatically becomes the winner of the competition. So I would like to title this video, First Comp, First Place. A little bit ambitious you might say, but some of my friends also have ambitious goals. Um, my name is Madbuku Felix. Sadiq Ahmed. Do you have any goals for this competition? Yeah, as in God's grace, last layer's keep, six seconds off. Oof. Goals. Okay, let's see. First of all, it's a blindfold success. I've never gotten a blindfold success in competition. Right. Um, One-handed NR and just like a solid 10 average. Yeah, your name. Corey, what are your goals for this competition? To get a world record in 2x2. Two two. What do you average on 2x2? 2x2. My first official song. All right, guys, that did not go according to plan. But on the bright side, I made it to the next round of 3x3, so I guess I'm good. No last layer skip, 6 seconds off for Felix, and no solid 10 second average for Sadiq yet. But yeah, next event we have is 2x2, two two, and now I rarely ever do practice 2x2, two two, so I have zero expectations for how this average turns out. But I think we know someone who has some expectations for 2x2. Two two. Get a world record in 2x2. Two two. Yeah, we all kind of knew he wasn't going to get the record. Next time, buddy. In this competition, every event other than 3x3 three three had only one round. Meaning that for the next event, which was Pyramix, I only had just this one chance to break the Pyramix national record average. And if you've seen the previous video, you probably already know what's going to happen. The reason I looked so confused is because I literally had no idea what the national record single time was because I was only going for the average. So yeah, it turns out that I just broke the national record single and average. My performance in Pyramid seems to give me good vibes for 4x4. So although I popped my cube twice, I ended up doing really well and just narrowly missed the podium. That hurts. Subscribe so I can feel better. Thanks. This is only my first competition, but I'm pretty sure it's very common for people to be debating who the better Cuba is. Simon is the world record average. Just wait. Simon is pushing. Just a matter of time. I know Max Sparks is actually probably going to be the next to break. Greatest of our time. Yeah. Greatest of our time. Simon, Simon, Simon is a god too. Like, so far, well, personally, I really can't tell who's faster. So we have the by three second round right now. I am. Um, a little bit nervous, everybody is practicing, but yeah, the nerves are real. Hopefully I do well. Boys, how's it going? No bad, can't do the shit. You made it to finals. Yeah, you did too. He's right, we all made it to the final round of 3x3. Three three. One more round for Felix to get his last layer skip 6 second solve. One more round for Sadiq to get his solid 10 second average. And for first comp first place to be a reality for me, I have to get the fastest average in the final round. But before that, for 3x3 three three one handed, let's just say this wasn't my best performance. And not just me, Sadiq also who was gunning for the national record completely fumbled the bag. Okay, before the 3x3 finals, there were a couple of events I did not participate in. Pro tip, always make sure you're well rested before you keep in competition.
Oh boy, the nerves at this point, 100%. And because of that, my plan was to focus and turn slow. But let me tell ya, that is a lot harder than it sounds. At this point, I had won. At least that's what everyone thought. So two seconds later, when the sites updated and Sadiq actually won with a solid 10 second average. Nicely done. All in all, I would say I did really well, this being my first comp. And if you haven't been to a comp and you can solve a cube, it doesn't matter how fast you are. Go to the World Cube Association website and check if there's one in your area. And if there is, sign up for that thing. It's really fun. Just take it easy on yourself when it comes to setting goals.